Hi, how are you? My name is Pete and in this quick video I'm going to show you how to get the new truck, the two new tractors, as well as all the upgrades for the new Phase 8 DLC oh, for the SnowRunner. Okay, so let's start with the easiest one and it's the tractor, the Kirovets K700. Now this one you get on your starting map, the crossroads, and all you gotta do is just one simple contract. Now to find the contract that I'm talking about, you go to your contracts, you go to Harvest Corporation contracts, and the contract you're looking for is called the Beast Rising. And all it requires you to do is visit Scrapyard first. Once you visit the Scrapyard, the stage is completed, and then the game asks you to deliver the tractor back to your garage. So it is very straightforward mission, the garage is literally around the corner from you, so it shouldn't take you too long to complete that contract. And once you deliver the tractor to your garage, the contract is completed and you can swap the trucks and recover that new tractor to your garage. Now the other two trucks, actually one truck and one more tractor that you can get, are located on a different map. So before we, we are able to get there, we need to unlock the gateways, because as you can tell, looking at the map, all your gateways are locked at the moment. So in order to unlock all the gateways you need to complete another contract and that contract you're also gonna find in Harvest Corporation company and the contract I'm talking about is called Sample Field. Now that one requires you to do a couple of things, it actually is meant to teach you how to take care of the field. So as you can see first you need to cultivate the field which you will find the cultivator just around the corner from the field. Then you need to pick up the planter, which is also around the corner from the field, and plant the seeds. And lastly, you need to harvest all the potatoes that you've grown. Now, you do need that tractor that you just unlock in order to complete that mission, because otherwise you won't be able to attach all them trailers to any other truck other than the tractor. So, once you find your cultivator, you go to the field, and as you can see, as soon as you drive over the field, the cultivator will open up, and you can start cultivate the field. The whole process basically requires you to go up and down on the field until there is no more field to cultivate. You also have a meter on the top right hand corner to tell you how much you have already done and how much is it left to do. Once you cultivate the field, the stage is completed and now the game asks you to collect the planter, which as I said, it's just beside the field. So you have to connect the planter to your tractor and then plant the seeds which basically is the same process as it was with cultivating, the only difference is that you're planting the seeds. So just as before, as soon as you drive over the field, the planter will unfold and you just keep on driving, planting the seeds. And again, you have a meter in top right hand corner telling you how much more you have to do in order to complete the planting. Now, once you seed the whole field, you get the stage completed message again, and now the game asks you to collect the harvester in order to harvest the potatoes. Now, as you can see, the harvester is a little bit south from the field in that little general store area. So all you gotta do is just go there and grab it and come back to the field and harvest all the potatoes. And again, it's exactly the same process as before. And you also have the meter in the top right hand corner. So once you harvest the whole field, the contract is finally completed. And as you can see in the rewards section, you get the access to all the gateways as well as to the trailer store, which by the way is the place where you can get all them new add-ons, like all them new trailers, like harvester, planter, and so on. So now let me show you how to get the brand new truck and the new add-on, the Step 39331 Pike. So that one is located on the Institute map. That's why we had to unlock the gateways earlier on. And if you're coming from the main map, from the crossroads, you will show up at the very bottom of that map, just right here. Now, as usual, pay attention to the way my map is aligned, so you align yours exactly the same way, that way you won't get confused. And to get that new track, you need to do a very simple mission, which is located on the north part of the Institute map. And the mission is called a gift horse. And that mission requires a simple thing to repair and refuel the new truck which is located right beside that mission. So in case you want to come prepared, you need 521 repair points and you also need 201 liters of fuel. And once you repair and refuel the truck, the mission is completed and the truck is yours. You can swap the truck and recover it 
straight to your garage. Now the last tractor you can get in this uh, new DLC is actually really complicated to get. So first let me show you. It is located in the Heartlands uh, map. So if you're coming from the Institute, you will show up on the east part of this map. However, if you're coming directly from the crossroads, you will show up on the southwest part of the map, which is actually better because it's very close to the garage that's available on this map. And you unlock that garage just by approaching it and then you can use it just as a normal garage. Now just to show you where the tractor is located, it's located pretty much in the center of the map, just beside those little lakes here. However, to get that tractor you need to do a couple of missions. So let me explain. There's a mission that will only show up just beside that tractor only after you do a certain contract. And the contract I'm talking about is located in the Harvest Corporation company and it's called 30 Harvest Less Years. As you can see, that contract requires you to do the same thing as before. So cultivate the field, seed the field, and then harvest the field. Now the field is very close to the garage, so that's not a problem. However, you don't have a trailer store. So here you have two options. You can either bring all the equipment from the crossroads map and by all the equipment, I mean all the trailers like harvester, planter and cultivator. Or you can do it a different way, which is what I'm going to show you here by unlocking the trailer store on this map first and then just grabbing all the necessary trailers from that trailer store. So to unlock the trailer store, as you can see here, you need to do the contract called Let There Be Light. As you can see here in the rewards section, it shows you that you will get access to the trailer store. However, as you probably noticed, that contract is locked behind the other contract. So you have to do the treasure hunt contract first before you're able to do the let there be light contract. Now, don't worry, they're actually pretty simple contracts. That's why I'm showing you this because I really feel like it's quicker than bringing all the equipment from the other map. So the treasure hunt contract requires you to visit the swamp and deliver the special cargo. Now the mission description says that you need the metal detector for it, but trust me, you don't. So all you gotta do is just approach the square that contract asks you to approach in the swamp. And then as you can see there in the background, there is that little container. That's that special cargo that the contract is talking about. And all you gotta do is take it out of the swamp and deliver it to its destination. Now you don't have to go far, it's literally a little bit north of your garage, so it shouldn't take you too long. Now once you deliver the container and finish the contract, as you can see, you unlock the Let There Be Light contract now. And that one is even simpler, all you gotta do is just deliver the generator back to the same place that you just finished the previous contract. Now pay attention, at this point I'm passing a fuel station, which it's not what you want to do. You want to actually use that fuel station to refill the generator, which I didn't. And because of that, when I finally reached my destination, I got that message that the trailer needs to have at least 150 liters of fuel. Now I was lucky because I use modded truck, so it has plenty of fuel. So I was able to refuel the generator, but just keep in mind, you actually passing that fuel station on the way. Uh, while doing this contract so make sure you stop there and refuel the generator and once you do all that the contract is completed and as you can see you've just unlocked yourself a trailer store on the very north part of the map so now whether you chose the option to bring all the equipment or you chose the option to unlock the trailer store you can actually start doing the 30 harvestless years contract so because I chose unlocking the trailer store option, I need to go there with my tractor and buy the cultivator first and then go back to the field and start cultivating. And just as it was before, you drive up and down on the field, you have a meter on the top right hand corner which will tell you exactly when you finished cultivating. Once you finish cultivating, the stage is completed and now the contract asks you to use the planter to seed the field. Again, because I chose the trailer store unlocking option, I have to go back with my tractor to the trailer store, sell the cultivator and grab myself the multi-row planter. And then go back to the field and start seeding the field. And lastly, once you do all that, you have to go back to the trailer store, sell the planter and grab yourself the potato harvester and start harvesting the field. Once you finally do all that, you get a nice animation, but there is one more thing left to do in that contract. And this time the contract requires you to deliver two pallets of potatoes to two different places. 
Don't worry, they're not that far. The one place that you have to deliver it to is just beside the trailer store, whereas the other one is just south of your garage. So it shouldn't take you too long to complete that contract. Now, once you deliver the last pallet, as you can see, the contract is completed and that will unlock the final mission you have to do in order to get that new tractor. As you can see here on the map, the mission unlocked just beside that tractor and it's called the common cause. Now luckily that mission is not very complicated, it requires you to mainly repair the tractor and then deliver it to two different spots. So firstly you need 393 repair points and you're also gonna need 187 liters of fuel in order to repair and refuel the tractor. Once you do that, the contract requires you to deliver the tractor to the repair service, which is just beside the unlocked trailer store. Once you deliver it there, the contract asks you to deliver it next to the service center, which as you can see is just a little bit south from you, it's literally between you and your garage. And once you deliver it there, the tractor Kirwitz K7M is finally yours, you can swap to it and you can just recover it to your garage and enjoy it. And lastly I'm going to show you all the upgrades that are available on the new maps with the Season 8 DLC. So the first upgrade is located in the Crossroads map, so the starting map, and it's just southeast from your garage, just right here. And that one is the engine upgrade, the imz 8500 t engine that it's suitable for the new Kirouette K700 tractor. Now the next upgrade is on the Institute map and if you again if you're coming from the crossroads as you can see here you're gonna show up on the south part of the map and if you go to the east from the entrance that's where the upgrade is located. And that, that upgrade is another engine the KZGT-8503T and it's actually suitable for both of the new tractors, the Kirouette K7M as well as Kirouette K700. The next two upgrades are actually located in the Heartlands map and just to give you an idea, if you're coming from the Institute you will show up on the west part of the map but if you're coming from the crossroads you will show up at the southeast part of the map. Also, don't forget to grab that garage, it's completely free, you don't have to do any missions, you just approach the garage and you can then use it. So, the first upgrade is on the top right hand corner of this map and those are actually the specialized off-road tires that are available for the new tractor, the Kirouette K7M. Now, the second upgrade on this map is located down the south, just at that little train station and that one is another engine, the DAAN-8C. 370 and that one is available for the new tractor the Kirouette K7M. And for the last upgrade in that DLC we need to travel to Harvest Crop Map and whether you choose to come from the Heartlands Map or the Institute you will show up on the west side of the map and the upgrade is located dead center on the map just in the middle of those swamps. And that one is another engine the KZGT-8420T and it's suitable for the new tractor Kirouette K7M. Now I hope you find this video useful, if you did please leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one, thank you.